Okay, we'll just make a start. Um, thank you first of all everybody for, for coming along here today um, to the launch of Citizen Relay, which is a, a project involved in uh, tracking the torch relay around Scotland, I guess, is the, the strap line that we've got for the project. Um, my name is David McGilvery from the University of West of Scotland, um, Skill Set Media Academy, uh, and we're kind of leading the project. Um, just before we start, if you usually when you come into the, the room, on that door it says um, switch your mobile phones off. Um, I would like to switch them back on if you switched them off, if you did look at, at, at what was on the door. Because I guess the part of this project and part of what we're trying to do today is, is launching the event and actually getting people to talk about it. So please talk about it using whatever social media channels that you use. So hashtag Citizen Relay um, is the hashtag for today. So if you want to talk about it um, and what you're doing here today, uh, then please do so. That would be great. We'll be able to pull all that together and, and, and get that information out to, to people via the website afterwards. The reason why the screen's not very clear is because we, we are recording uh, much of today and you see a lot of people capturing elements of what we're doing here today and they need, to, they need some better quality lights, so um, sorry about the, about the screen. We've got, in this hour, I guess, um, which is again the official launch part, um, we've just got two or three speakers, so I'll start just telling you a little bit about the project for those that haven't had any involvement in it today or have not had a chance to see too much about it. Then I'll hand over to Janice Kelly from Creative Scotland. Um, who are supporting the project and are involved in organising the Torch Relay uh, around about the Olympics in Scotland. Uh, and then we've got uh, Jennifer Jones who's going to talk a little bit about the Media 2012 project, which is a project that this is a, a, a hub for and, and the Scottish element of, which is a wider Olympics project around about citizen media. And then finally we're going to get John Coster to come up, who's come up from Leicester uh, today, who's um, part of Citizens Eye, which is a, a community media organisation in Leicester, who are involved in the Olympics and the Torch Relay uh, down in the East Midlands. So there's a few, a few short presentations just to give you uh, some insight into, into where this comes from and where it's going. And <laughs> <laughs> that's not a sign of things to come, um, I hope. Genie's out of the bowl. Oh, we'll just leave that, yeah. Yeah. Right. Um, and then afterwards, what we're going to do, there's going to be, there's, you see people set up outside, so we want people to interact with the people that are out there. There are some people, I think, here today who maybe are already involved in community reporting or whatever, maybe representing some organisations. Again, we're happy that you want to get a chance to talk to people outside about what you do. So this is a very collaborative thing. You get a chance to, to, you know, to talk about the activities that you're already involved in. And, and this project is very much a partnership project. So actually, what I've put up here in terms of people who are already involved in some of the, some of the logos, we want to, to multiply that. So people who are part of organisations who are already involved in, in, say, community reporting or citizen media activities. And again, we'd like to link in with this project. So it's, it, has a, it has a framework, but it's open um, that people can participate further. <coughs> okay. Sorry, that's not going to come out well. We've got the torch on the left-hand side. We've got the, the root of the torch, I, I guess, on the, on the bottom right-hand picture. And we've got a camper van. We're not, we're not going to have a camper van, I don't think, a, a VW camper van. But we are looking for this to be a mobile project. So this isn't really is a project that will traverse the country. So it will, the, the, the torch comes into Stranraer um, on the 7th stroke. The 8th of, of June is when the project actually starts in terms of the, the torch really being in Scotland. So I guess what we, um, the vision of the project is that it will be a mobile project that actually does track the torch really. So we'll have a, a transport, uh, UWS will be involved in providing that transport. And again, the idea is that you'll have citizen reporters on that transport traveling around the country be some staged events, but there'll also be some mobile activities where um, you know, people who already reside in, in local communities around the route of the torch will also participate in providing content for the Citizen Relay project. So it's, a, it's quite complex in terms of being able to make sure that we can do activities as we move, but also ensure that we can get people who reside in those areas and already are reporting, already have some of the skills to report, to feed into that project. And then it'll all be brought together via the web resource that I'll show in a, in a moment. The, the project Citizen Relay is funded by uh, Creative Scotland, so um, as part of the, Creative Scotland is responsible for the, the Cultural Olympiad around about Scotland and a lot of the activities, a lot of programming around about that. So you'll have seen a lot of that over the last few months you know, in terms of launching what is going to happen in Scotland around about the Olympics. We're, I guess, predominantly interested in the, in the cultural element of the Olympics and not the sport-focused element. In Scotland there aren't, there's only you know, one big sporting occasion in terms of football being held in in Scotland, but there's lots and lots of cultural activities taking place across the whole country. So I guess the focus of this project is, is, is helping amplify, report that, get that message out about the great activity that is happening um, around the country in respect to the Olympics when it's here. 
but obviously we're also looking forward to, to 2014 Commonwealth Games and being able to actually develop an infrastructure around Wake Scotland of citizen media, uh, act, uh, people involved in citizen media, uh, community reporters who are able to report on, on events in their local community uh, around Scotland. So that's definitely where the, where the ethos comes from. There's a number of interventions that as part of the, the, the supported project we are, we are delivering. So um, these are listed up here. So we have today's launch and information event. We have the recruitment um, and training of citizen really interns. And some people in this room have already applied for those, and I'll talk about those in a moment. Um, we have citizen really reporters, who are the, those people who are not as experienced in, in being involved in, say, journalism activity, but who actually may want to have a voice and may actually want to use relatively accessible tools to, to report on issues in their local area. Um, we then have the Torch Really road trip itself, as we're describing it, which is that so, you know, a relatively short period, less than a week, where the, where the Torch travels around Scotland. <coughs> Although it comes out of Scotland, it comes back into Scotland on um, uh, the 14th of June. And then finally, to kind of disseminate via an event um, that will probably hope, hopefully happen in September, which is where we'll showcase some of the activity that's taken place and showcase the work of the citizen reporters and, and, and the, the interns, but also showcase the kind of way that we've gathered the content together and, 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 and presented that content via the website that we have. So that's the, these are the kind of official things, if you like, that will happen. But again, we would like much more to happen on the basis of people participating, people offering up content and offering up um, um, issues in terms of the way that they would like to be involved. Again, these are the, the intern and the reporter adverts which have gone around. Um, if you've not, if you're interested in becoming either an intern or a reporter, then there's there's um, adverts going around here today. You can pick one up and apply. Um, the agenda for us is to make that Scotland-wide in the sense that we've got four geographical areas as part of the project. So we've got Glasgow in the west, which is maybe broadly encompasses the University of the West of Scotland and its partners. We've got um, Inverness in the northwest, we've got Dundee in the northeast, and we've got Edinburgh in the east. So again, what we're trying to do is be able to ensure that we have coverage across each of these areas. Now, in order to get people to be able to actually generate stories that are local to those areas, then we are keen to recruit reporters and interns from those areas. So that it's not all concentrated in the University of the West of Scotland leading the project, but actually that we get people across different parts of the country. And that requires our partners and others to help us to, I guess, secure those, those interns and reporters and the, the, part, the participating institutions. So we have Skillset Media Academies, there are three in Scotland who are, are involved in the project, and also the colleges um, as part of Creative, Creative Loop um, involved in the project to actually enable us to have physical presences in other parts of the country. But, so the, these have gone out, the, the interns, we have eight interns that we're looking to recruit, um, and again they will be more experienced, more likely to have an experience in, multi, in generating multimedia content, and um, they may be journalists, they may be broadcast journalists, um, again we've had a, a number of applications already for, for these positions, and we'll be looking to, to recruit those over the next couple of weeks. And then we have more reporter roles, so we're talking about between 10 and 15 reporters in each area, so each of the four areas, so we're talking about, about 50 people that we're hoping to recruit, who will be the reporters during the actual legs of the relay itself. But again, that's a wider opportunity for people who are interested in perhaps being community reporters more generally, um, and haven't had as much experience. So again, those adverts just were out uh, at the end of last week um, for the Citizen Relay reporters. So again, if you're part of networks that extend beyond the west of Scotland, then you know, please circulate this information. I said the website um, will we'll, we'll show you at the end. Um, there's active social media presence that we're using for the project as well, and that's generating quite a lot of activity already. So um, we're talking to a variety of people about how we can ensure that we get the coverage that we need across the country. As I say, please take one of those away if you're, if you're here. Because of our engagement with, with Creative Scotland, the, the, these, are, these opportunities are on the Creative Scotland um, website in terms of the opportunities that are available, so that's generated some activity already. Um, this slide really reflects one of the sorts of, sorts of tools and sorts of platforms we want to use to, to amplify the message about the torch really in Scotland using the Citizen Really project. So again, you'll see some of these outside with, um, in, the, in the foyer area in terms of uh, some of these terms, some of these logos, iPadio, which is broadcasting, um, you can broadcast through your phone, the audio boo, which is a short podcast you get people to do. Obviously, we're talking here about the smartphones and the technologies that many people in the room are using at the moment to record things that are happening. Again, we're keen to get people to, to try and play with all these tools as a way of reporting without having to necessarily have had 
the experience of being a, a trained journalist, for example. Albeit, as I said, with the intern roles, we're looking for the intern roles to be people that do have more experience and, and understand how to go about that practice. On the right hand side, we've got the ways in which we want to get that message across, whether it be a Flickr pool in terms of static images, whether it be Facebook, YouTube channel, and other activities that, again, will, will give us something quite unique, hopefully, uh, but something quite exciting in terms of that actual way in which some of the, the content that we generate and report upon uh, finds itself out to, to an audience. And again, just briefly, this is our, our, our website that's, that's been developed, developed at the moment. So it's there mainly as a promotional tool at the moment because it's not ready to, gen to have content uploaded to. I'll be after today, we'll be curating some of the, the images and the variety of images that we have here. In terms of, you see a lot of people um, either recording via film or using their, their iPads to record or using their phones to record. And again, that content we will edit down and actually then upload to the website. What we'll also do is actually show this for anyone who wants to be a reporter, wants to be an intern, wants to know more about the project. And again, content we have today will be, will be out there so that we communicate to people so that they can see how they can become involved. So again, it's like trying to spread that message more widely uh, so that we can get the involvement that, we, that we're looking for. So that website is www.citizenrelay.net. Um, so if you've not been on there, then please go have a look around. Uh, over the next few weeks, that will become there'll be more content on there. Um, you can subscribe to that so that you get regular updates when things are, are happening. And just sort of come to the end of what I'm going to talk about, in terms of the dissemination, I guess we're, we're looking for there to be an impact to the project. And the impact of the project is not just about the torch, really. Uh, in some ways, it's about being able to, to recruit interns and reporters and actually have those reporters still reside in their local communities and potentially re report uh, about other issues, other events that happen in their local area. So I guess the torch really is a hook for us. It allows people to, um, to be interested in something. It gives us a reason, a focal point. You know, it's a, it's, a, it's a weak event, if you like, so it, it allows us to really work towards um, a deadline. But this is about a wider set of, of impacts. We're also interested in, in, in citizen media more generally around about large-scale events and how, uh, you know, there, there are different media landscapes around about these events. There's an official accredited media and there's, there's another um, media. And I guess we're interested in trying to ensure that people have an opportunity to participate and, and contribute and be involved and participate in events. And, and that's not always been the case. We'll have the web portal, which will be, I guess, our archive of the event and our, our, our archive about what's been produced. And we'll showcase that, as I said, via, via an event in September after the project. And I guess at that event, we're looking for, for, we'll be looking for the people who've been involved to be there and present and then showcasing the work. But also, we'll be looking to think about what we can do post-2012 and into uh, Scotland's, I guess, particularly large games, the Commonwealth Games in, in 2014. So, in terms of what next, and really this is more a call to the people here today and those that are, um, who are unable to make it, but I've, I've, again we'll send information on to um, after the event. Promoting the roles, or, or, or applying for one of the roles that are, that are out there at the moment, that's a call to people who may be students, or who know students, or part of journalism programmes, or actually are, are working with groups who are already interested in reporting the local area. Then again, getting that message across is important for us so that we can get those people recruited as quickly as possible. Um, it may be that in different parts of the country we have facilities to uh, production facilities to edit content and upload that content quite quickly you know, in parts of the country that we don't yet have coverage in. So, for example, Inverness in the North West area is an area that, we, that we're looking to get a partner to be involved in. But again, you know, in the facilities that we have as part of UWS, we were able to do that in, this, in Glasgow in the West. Again, it's getting facilities available, so if you, if you have facilities you need to participate, then, then let us know afterwards. Providing the stories, I guess, the context or the content. So we have some local authority representatives here today who, again, are involved in the torch, really. There may be issues that are not being covered um, by, by the BBC as the official partner that perhaps you'd like covered as a local story. That, again, we'd be very keen to hear that sort of information so that again, we can focus our programme of activity over the torch on things that are not necessarily being reported elsewhere. There might be about something around the torch, but it's about a story that's about your, your area that actually would be valuable to, to be heard more, more widely. Um, and I guess finally, the, the call to, to get involved. Now this is, a, this is a project that will only work on the basis that we have a framework in place that is the project, 
but where it really becomes is, is, is what people make of it. And again, we're getting people already offering very creative solutions as to how they might want to do something in their area. I guess we want, we want more of that, and that's what, what today is really about, is trying to get a call to arms to get people involved.